scale video. So I'm going to just do a video on the pendulum scale. That's a five note scale and it's made out of whole tones and half tones on the piano. So a half tone is the closest distance or sound on the piano. There isn't any key or sound on the piano that's smaller than a half tone. Whole tone, it kind of sounds like do, re, are made up of two half tones. So from here to here, we call this a half tone. It doesn't quite sound like do, re, um, but you'll see there's no other key in between there, so it's a half tone. When we go here to here, that's another half tone. But then when we go here to here, we call this a whole tone. Do, re, or here to here, do, so when we build our pentascale scale that we've been working on before, it's made up of, from here to here, a whole tone, then another whole tone, half tone, then whole tone. So we can take that pentascale scale and play, start on any key and build the same scale. So if I start on D, I could have whole, whole, half, and whole. So earlier I just had this on the board, um, drawing the pentascale pattern, and our pattern is basically whole, whole, half, whole. So from C to D, we have a whole tone, D to E, whole, E to F, half, and then F to G, a whole tone. So what I want you to do this week is basically take your pentascale and start on any key, and I want you to build that pentascale. Whole, whole, you should hear is do, re, mi, la, so. And what I want you to do is to practice that pattern using the pentascale exercise we did before. So one, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then one. Do one more example. So if I started on um, F sharp, I would have whole, whole, now this time half, and then whole. So when I do the exercise in the fingers, what you want is this. at once for your chord. You can also put little sticky things on the keys wherever you have to play a black one that can help you also keep track of which black keys to use. You really want to remember these patterns in your hand and also use them as an exercise for warming up at the piano. The other thing is that I sent around a chart um, that has the pentascales on there and what your job is to do is fill in the bubbles. So wherever you see a uh, um, black key, you're going to color in that bubble and you can use that chart to help you with um, doing the pentascales and practicing it.